This week on Streetcar Life, I have a bad hair day. something for Tyler's car. Hey, that guy definitely... Hey, Tyler. Yeah. That Jeep definitely goes to our school. Does he? That's the dude that's always parked out in front of the shop. Oh, the, the two guys are riding together. Yeah. Going to the import row. What row is your car? 111. 111. Damn, this place is huge, man. This is way bigger than the one that's over by school. They have two Camaros here. I might have to go check them out real quick. Go dogs. I think this is a rodeo. Yeah, this is a rodeo. But it's a four cylinder. Yeah, it's a four cylinder. Does that matter? Uh, Got some fancy schmancy headlights. I think this fits this one. I don't know if it's the same one that fits on the on it. That I will not be able to tell you. I would assume so. Why would they go through the trouble of like manufacturing a whole different one? Oh cool, and there's some Nissans right behind it. Nissans. Apparently this has a Viper alarm. I don't know where it is though. Damn, this is actually a pretty nice junkyard. They have some good stuff here. Mr. Two right here. Oh yeah. It's definitely like December 15th and it's 72 and I'm wearing short sleeves outside. So there's that. You see what I'm talking about? Cobra wheels just here. There's one. Let's see if there's one on the other side. Okay. <clears throat> Only one cover wheel. Well, there's a lot of stuff there. You guys, I had to show you this thing. I mean, it's definitely like ultra super duper ultra rice, but it's kind of sad that someone went through all the trouble just for to end up at the junkyard. Definitely sucks. <clears throat> it's got an alarm in here or something. Oh, well, hello. I think this is just like some kind of eBay alarm. I found uh, Ken Block's actual Mitsubishi Eclipse here. You can tell by the uh, Monster logo on the front. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Ken Block's car. You can just tell it's, I mean, it's black. It's got the green interior. It's got the uh, Monster logo up front. That's cool, we've got some royalty here. Sad face. I think it caught on fire. Yeah, it definitely caught on fire. That sucks. Dang, this thing is actually pretty clean inside. That really sucks. All right, so I need you guys to understand something. As someone that builds old cars, oh, I'm going into the American section. I wonder if those Camaros are somewhere nearby. Anyway, someone that builds old cars and likes to use new parts, this place is a gold mine. I mean, I've seen all kinds of stuff. I've seen 2013 Lancer, multiple G35s, a G37, new Ultimas, new Maximas. Like, I can get wires and clips and screws and all that stuff. Yeah, 
this this place is awesome. I, I'm really excited. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on some of these things over here. I mean, we've got cars with head with projector headlights. We've got cars with I don't know all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, I'm you guys don't understand how excited I am. This is about to be like my premier destination for car parts. Every time I'm gonna come here for sure. All right, people, people look at me like I'm weird. I'll be back. This is the kind of thing I hate about the junkyard. 99 5 Series, best 5 Series ever made in my opinion. And it's a wagon. And it's here at the junkyard. I just stabbed myself. You know how many things I would have done with this car that don't involve crashing it? Man. The paint is like good on here and everything. It's terrible, man. It's a terrible place. What the hell happened to this thing? It's literally like... I would love to know what happened. Ah, oh, come on, son. Alright, this just makes me sad. Hey, if I have a conversion. I should probably take those when I'm too lazy. That's where this is from, the, the Mississippi Farm Bureau. It's a farm truck, man. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna raid this Altima for clips and bolts and stuff. Fellas, you're walking into market territory now. Gotta be careful where you step. Got them rattlers out here looking for ourselves a Camaro and an old Lincoln with a horn. Better get a move on, Sally. Getting into Chevy territory now. Yeehaw. That's how I got his AC condenser. Some other random crap he needed. I got some random screws and stuff. So overall successful day. Definitely gotta come back here though, because look at that. <laughs> so not only did this dude fall asleep watching Once Upon a Time. Charles, you gotta draw racing stripes on him. No, you gotta put racing stripes on him. She's a piece of work, you know? Indeed I do. What's up, Otto? Oh, that's what he was like, where did everybody go? <laughs> what the hell was that? I didn't even know you were awake. Alright, so my car was running well for too long. Um, this radiator hose like broke, broke. I don't know where the piece went. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, point being, uh, it broke and I tried to cut the broken piece out and you know, kind of like join these two together, but then it got too short. So I had to go. Spend the uh, spend the big bucks and get the eleven dollar hose. I wanted to get silicone, but I don't have time or money for that. So I'm just gonna throw this guy on here. Throw this guy on here.
Hey, that's what you brought that one time, wasn't it? This stuff is like. That was the stuff that you gave me. That you gave me. Yeah, that was awesome. This wasn't like the big. Uh oh, was it from the same place though? Yeah. Yeah. Man, it was not too expensive. Yeah. This is the inside of the store. I mean, it's just a little mm -hmm. up place, but it's so good. Mm -hmm. Shit. I'm making money. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. Dude, it's right next to like the railroad tracks and shit. Like, the railroad tracks are almost in the parking lot. It's like, oops, dude. There's a small town in Wisconsin. Huh? It looks like a small town in Wisconsin. <laughs> that way! No! <laughs> These guys are here. You guys are too much. Some over here. Gonna take a bumper off this. Look at Tyler. This is about to be an informational video on how to fix a 1990 whatever Mitsubishi Galant. Just kidding. They're working on that. I'm working on this. Yeah! I was like, sweet, I think my hubs are here. Open the box. It's not a porn DVD. It says, warning, may cause temporary blindness and premature lonely day. Laundry day? And I got some free bed sheets. This is cool. Everybody needs free bed sheets. I mean, you've gotta have those. And here's what I got. Ah. Five lugs, so there's one. Ah, I found a rear. This looks like a S14, like stocky, so that's cool. Oh yeah, and parts homes. Uh, let's see, dig through this sheet a little more. Here's another rear. Should probably close this knife so I don't like kill myself. And. Here's the front one. Cool. Thanks for the hubs, Nicholas, and the uh, and the bed sheets, and the not porn DVD. Appreciate it. Uh, promise I'll never forget this box opening the rest of my life. Okay, so I want to put this away somewhere. All right, I got the bumper off. I'm gonna continue the snow getting ready thing. These are my old crappy fenders that are all messed up. So what I'm gonna do is cut it like right here and then put it on so that, I don't know, it looks cooler and this doesn't just flap around in the wind without having a front bumper on. So we'll see how that goes. How are you texting without looking? <laughs> oh, and I got it all right, too. <laughs> Hi, we 
gotta get that thing. Uh-huh. 